Okay, so in this question, they say, what is the number of square inches in the area of a square whose diagonal measures 8 inches? They're just asking you for the area of a square, right, whose diagonal is 8 inches. And they're saying it's in square inches because, well, area is in square inches. So suppose this is our square right here. A diagonal is a line that connects one of the vertices to another, like an opposite vertice. So these two points right here and here are opposite vertices, right? They're not, they don't share a common edge. So if you connect these two vertices together, that's a diagonal. And in this case, the diagonal is 8. Also here, we have a square. So we have right angles, and th thus we have a right triangle. A square is special, of course, because each side is equal. So whatever this side is equal to, we'll call it A. This side over here also has to be A. So we can solve this, and I'll show you a few ways to solve it, but here, algebraically, we can solve this by saying, oh, okay, well, we have a right triangle with two sides that are equal. So if we use the Pythagorean theorem, this means, of course, that a squared plus b squared is c squared, but a squared is equal to b squared because, well, a is equal to b. So they're the same thing. I can interchange them here and say a squared plus a squared equals c squared. And now if I simplify this, right here we have one, two groups of a squared. So that's 2a squared, right? We add like terms, and that equals c squared. Now where am I going with this? Well, we know what c squared is, right? c is equal to 8. That's the hypotenuse. c is equal to 8. So c squared is equal to 8 squared, which is 8 times 8, or 64. And now we're trying to find the area of the square, so I'm trying to find out how long is each side of the square. I want to find how long A is, so I'm solving for A. So 2 times something is 64. We can balance that by dividing by 2. So we divide by 2 on both sides. Here, 2A squared divided by 2, well, 2's cancel out. And A squared equals 64 divided by 2. Now that's just, of course, 32. So A squared equals what? Well, equals 32. And therefore, a is equal to the square root of 32. I took the square root of both sides there. And I can simplify this, and if I did, what I would get is 4 radical 2, but I don't even need, need to simplify it to 4 radical 2. Right? I, could, I can simplify, I'll just show you that real quick. Radical 32, we can break it into 16, or radical 16 times radical 2, that's equivalent. And radical 16 is 4, right? Square root of 16 is 4, so it's 4 root 2. Or 4 times square root of 2, that is radical 32. Those are equivalent. Essentially, you take a number and split it into its factors and take the square root of the factors, preferably finding one like this here, where you have a perfect square like 16. And that just allows you to rewrite this in, in a way so that there are no hidden perfect factors left over. And usually you would break it down, or in many cases would break it down all the way, but you don't need to here, because if a equals radical 32, right, these are both equal, the area of the square is equal to, essentially, a squared, or a times a. So right here, when we had a squared, right, or a times a, that is a squared, right, a times a is equal to a squared, we had the area. Right here, the area of the square is 32 or radical 32 times radical 32, that's the side of a square times the side. Here, that's just 32, right? We're squaring the square root, so it undoes the square root, and that's the area. 